Welcome again to Quiz. <laughs> Hello, welcome again to Quiz Entertainment. I'm your host, Derek L. Jenkins. Today we will have two contestants battling their knowledge of various topics for today's prize: a $15 gift certificate to Starbucks. Let's meet our players. Player one is Michelle. Michelle, tell us about herself. <laughs> And player two is Dion. Dion, how are you doing today, Dion? Tell us about yourself, Dion. My name is Dion. I'm from Oakland, and I'm happy to be here. Okay, you two ready to play? Yes. yes. All right. In round one, you'll play head to head against each other. Off in questions chosen at random by the following topics: sports, men's fashion, art, celebrities, science, histories, and movies. The first one to buzz in with the right answer gets the point. There are no penalties for wrong answers. Let's begin round one. In art, what is the first form of painting? A, finger painting, B, canvas painting, C, oil painting, or D, cave painting? What? <laughs> Dion? Is it A, finger painting? That is incorrect, Michelle. Aww. What was the question? What is the first form of painting? A, finger painting, B, canvas painting, C, oil painting, or D, cave painting? Cave painting. Cave painting is correct. All right, let's go to celebrities. What was recent? What was Kim Kardashian Kardashian recently in the news for? For doing what? Oh, <laughs> continue. Sorry. No, you buzzed in. What is okay, it? Uh, her nude, her nude pictures. Showing it all in nude is absolutely correct. <laughs> all right, the score is actually two to nothing. Dion versus Deborah Gamma. In science, which of the law of motion says that for every action, there is an equal or opposite reaction? A, Newton's first law, B, Newton's second law, C, Newton's third law, or D, Newton's fourth law? Michelle? Newton's third law? That is absolutely correct. Ladies and gentlemen, this girl is on fire right now. All right. We have another question. Let's go to history right now. Which country of the world has the oldest written constitution still in force today? A, France, B, Spain, C, the United States, or D, England? Dion? C, the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, he's on the board today. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to sports. Oh. <laughs> Which of these following athletes played three professional sports? A, Dion Sanders. Oh, sorry. It's all good. What's the answer? Dion Sanders. That is incorrect. Oh! Continue. Which of these athletes played three professional sports? A. Deion Sanders. B. Bo Jackson. C. Michael Jordan. D. Michael Bishop. Uh, C. His airiness is correct. Michael oh! Jordan. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, let's go to men's fashion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In 1853, this jeans producer started the first denim clothing business intended to supply the miners in California with the Levi's. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we found someone who knows the answers to these questions already. <laughs> All right, let's go back to celebrities. Who was the winner of season 11 of Celebrity Apprentice? A, John Rich, B, Armorosa, C, Arsenio Hall, D, Brett Michaels. Michelle. A. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Art. <laughs> when was the first photo camera invented? A, 1776, B, 1816, C, 1856, or D, 1916? Yeah. B. B, 1816. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to make it a comeback today. All righty. And now let's go to another celebrity question. Who was the first ever celebrity to appear on Sesame Street in 1969? A, Joan Rivers, B, Robin Williams, C, Elizabeth Taylor, or D, James Earl Jones? Dion. D. James Earl Jones is absolutely correct. <laughs> All right, we're back to sports. Who is the NBA logo modeled after? A, Will Chamberlain, B, Jerry West, C, James Worthy, or D, James Names Namesman? Dion. Jerry West. The logo himself, Jerry West, <laughs> absolutely correct. All right, let's go to movies. We haven't done a movie question yet. Who was Johnny Depp's co-star 
in the movie The Taurus. A, Reese Witherspoon. Angelina Jolie. You're on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Reese Wither or Angelina Jolie is absolutely correct. All right. Let's go to history. How many voyages did Christopher Columbus make from the Europe to the New World? A, four, B, one, C, three, or D, he never sailed. Dion's hand. C. C? C is absolutely incorrect. Oh. A, four, B, or B, one, C, three, or D, he never sailed to the New World. He's taking credit for discovering a place where Native Americans were already discovered. Ah, D. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the answer is actually A, four times. What? Oh. No points for that one. Are we going to a commercial? Oh, keep going? All right. Let's go to science. Oh. Which law says that an object in motion will stay in motion unless another force changes it? A, Newton's first law. B, Newton's second law. C, Newton's third law. Or, yes. I'm going to go with the second one. Second law? Second law is incorrect. Oh. A. a, it is his first law. Dang. All right. Let's go to let's do another movie question. Luke Skywalker is on the planet Dagobah to be trained by Jedi Master Yoda in which of the following movies? Mm -hmm. A, Return of the Jedi. B, The Empire Strikes Back. C, Revenge of the Sith. Or D, The Force Awakens. A, a is absolutely incorrect. C, Revenge of the Sith, absolutely incorrect. Ladies and gentlemen, it is The Empire Strikes Back. All right. We will, the score currently is a lot to a little. Oh, six to six. Oh, actually, it's a tie game. We'll be right back, and we'll start the second round of Quisinary after these short breaks. Are you a citizen character? Make your business card or logo. Proof where you're asking. Advertise your website. Write a song for you. Or even pose as your girlfriend on Facebook. Fiber's got it all. From tame and innocent to creepy and bizarre. You can even access Fiverr directly from your smartphone. Fiverr.com. Sign up for free today. Dang, I thought I had this in the bag. Bro, camera two. Camera two. Oh. All right, we're back to the second round of Quisinary. We each will challenge each other through a topic. You have to answer each other's questions from a topic chosen by your opponent. All right, Michelle, which topic would you like? Celebrity, science, history, movies? Sports, men's fashion, or art for Dion? Uh, I'm gonna go with science. Science. <laughs> Someone loves Newton's law. Which of these law of motion says it is harder to move something with a larger mass? Mass. A. Newton's first law. B. Newton's second law. C. Newton's third law. Or D. Newton's fourth law. I'm gonna go with D. D. Newton's fourth law is absolutely incorrect. The answer is actually B. Newton's second law. So you lose one point for this round. Which uh, topic would you like to choose for Michelle? I'm going to go with art. Art. The tool, easel, is used in what art form? A, sculpting, B, drawing, C, painting, or D, pottery? C, painting. C, painting is correct. <laughs> All right, Michelle, what uh, topic would you like to choose for uh, Dion? Um, can you tell me? Oh, yes. Dion? Celebrities, histories, movies, sports, or men's fashion? with uh, history. History. Contrary to popular belief, Cinco de Mayo is not the Mexico's Independence Day, but an observance of Mexican Army's unexpected victory May 5th, 1862 over which country? A. Italy, B. the United States, C. France, or D. Germany? C. C. France is correct. <laughs> Dion, sportsman fashion, Celebrities or movies for Michelle? I'm going to go with sports. Sports. <laughs> Presidential ceremony pitches have been a tradition in MLB since opening day of 1910 season. Who is the first president to throw out the first ceremonial first pitch? A. William Howard Taft. B. Jimmy Carter. C. John F. Kennedy. Or D. Richard Nixon. What was the year? 1910. Can you repeat the answers? A, William Howard Taft, B, Jimmy Carter, C, John F. Kennedy, or D, Richard Nixon? Uh, Taft? Taft is absolutely correct. <laughs> Michelle, what would you like? Celebrities, movies, sports, or men's fashion for Dion? Um, celebrities. 
celebrities. According to Forbes, who is the number one richest actor in the world? A, Tom Hanks, B, Jerry Seinfeld, C, Johnny Depp, or D, Tom Cruise? What about D? B, Jerry Seinfeld? No, D. Oh, D, Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise is incorrect. The answer was B, Jerry Seinfeld. Michelle, who would you, or actually Dion, what would you like to choose for Michelle? Men's fashion, sports, movies? Uh, let me try movies. Movies. Which of the following movies features actress Jessica Alba? A. The Wolf on Wall Street. B. Honey. C. Mean Girls. Or D. Fool's Gold. Honey. B. <laughs> honey is absolutely correct. <laughs> All right, Michelle. Sports or men's fashion? Uh, men's fashion. Men's fashion. Which of the following clothing brand is named after English men's Wimbledon champion of the 1930s? A. Stan Smith, B, Rene LaCrosse, C, Stefan Enberg, or D, Fred Perry? Which of the following clothing brands is named after English men's Wimbledon champion of the 1930s? A, Stan Smith, B, Rene LaCrosse, C, Stefan Enberg, or D, Fred Perry? Uh, D, Fred Perry. Fred Perry is absolutely correct. <laughs> All right, the scores are currently 10 for Michelle, Nine for Michelle. And six for Dion right now. All right. After this short PSA, we'll be back for the final round of Quizzes Neri. back and the score is currently six for Dion and nine for Michelle. In the third round, the contestants will be wagering how many points they would like to for this last bonus question. Dion, how many points would you like to wager? I'm gonna go all. All of it, so it'll be six points. And Michelle, how many points would you be wagering? Well, two, because then I'd win. If all right, two it is. <laughs> all right, this is question. Complete the following lyric. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up in magazines. Is it? Either A, I let my tape rock till my ta till my tape pop. B, remember rapping. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> C, I was born a sinner, opposite of winner. Or D, salt and pepper, heavy D, and up in the limousine. D. D, that is absolutely correct. Biggie Smalls himself. Dion, you win. Twelve. Huh? Oh, I thought we each get a question. Oh, no, it was just one final bonus question. I'm sorry. Oh. You lose. <laughs> Dion, you win today. Wait, what? The $15 Starbucks card. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Quizinary today. Thank you for playing today. We'll be back next time. I'm your host, Derek Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs>